Welcome everybody, Farm Sim Snowy here. In this video we're going to look at a new mod map release for Farm Simulator 19. This is Bzora or Zora, I'm not sure if you pronounce the B. It's by Pavel K20 and Unbelievable. It's 271.10 megabytes to download. And the description there says, Welcome to Brazora. The map has got Polish atmosphere, five farms, pigs, cows, sheep, horses and chickens, over 150 fields, 15 meadows, biogas plants, six selling points, one sawmill, original environment, car and pedestrian traffic, lime and gas station, water triggers, seasons ready and a lot more. Have a nice game. So let's go and check it out. And here we are. This is where it starts you off. Um, as you can see, it is one of the dark sort of Polish maps again. I know obviously the sun's over there and that's cast in the shadow but as we go round you'll see it is quite dark in places. Some of the buildings haven't got lights on uh, in like the sheds and whatnot and it actually starts you at 10 a.m. in the morning. That's why it's a.m. idiot. But um, yeah so I don't know if they start you at that time because they know it's quite dark I'm not sure. But anyway we are here this is the map i'll zoom out so it starts us off over here i'm in new farmer mode and in new farmer mode we don't start off with any fields but we do start off owning all five farms so you've got the sheep farm and the horse farm down here next door to each other got chicken farm there cow farm just there and the pig farm up there they've all got houses sleep triggers on them and a silo each to buy these in the other two modes because you don't start off with any of these in the other two modes everything's still here the sheep farm is 19,000 to buy horse farms 29,000 the chicken farm is 12,000 cow is 22,000 and the pig farm is 11,000 to buy now you don't have to own those so in the other two modes when I came on it does let you still sleep at all of the farmhouses and you can access all the animal pens as well in new farmer mode you can sleep at any of the houses as well as far as I can tell so but obviously everything is fixed in place, which we will see in a second. Field prices vary, as you can imagine. So nine's reasonably big, 70,000. We've got some small thin ones, 20,000 for there. Tiny ones up there, that comes as a pair, 26,000. 112 is 38,000. 129 54 as you can see there is a BGA that's only 17,000 to buy which you obviously have to own to use it it's just a standard BGA does your standard normal things it won't do potatoes or whatnot like that there is an outside of the map so whilst all this looks like it's usable if we come on here you can see the darker outside edge of the map but some of these areas which aren't numbered up are in this more lighter color like all the way around here as you can see that is classed as the outside of the map so if we sorry click on that that's going to cost you just over a million to buy as far as I can see there's not a mass amount that you'd probably would use if you bought that bar these little areas that's quite a huge field it 
did let me drive all the way through there it was showing up as it was being owned by someone that field and they were growing oats in but any little strips like that I think you're gonna have trouble with I mean obviously eventually you will hit a wall down there I will show you that field later and then there's a bit more of a bigger area there but everything else is pretty like these silly little stubby bits I mean I guess there's nothing stopping you plowing all that through so you've got one long thin field and same here if it lets you work it but you guys are obviously suss that out yourselves there is a little bit of forestry area just here and again this bit is part of the outside of the map whether it lets you work in that forestry area I'm not sure it's got all sorts of mixture of trees in there some horrible ones and some nice straight ones you got these bits of forestry here which comes as part of 28 and like so as far as I can see that's the only sort of bit of forestry and this tiny little bit there actually that is it the rest sort of come with fields like so so I think that is that bit covered there's various cell points dotted around the map which obviously we will cover as we go round We'll do the slot counts first because that's pretty easy because the slot count is exactly the same across all three modes. You start off with exactly the same equipment. So it's 544 slots out of 1299. If you sell everything off, you can get that down to 462 slots. But we start off with like I say in all three modes you get the same equipment. We've got a new Holland T5 100, the Fent Fabric 511C, We've got the Bison Harvester, we've got a Stroutman SEK trailer, header for your bison, we've got a cultivator, a seeder, we've got two of these weights, and then we've got five grain silos, which are obviously at all five farms. They only hold a thousand, a hundred thousand litres, sorry, each one, and it's just standard crop types. And as far as I can see, that is the only modded in thing in the game. Obviously, you will find those under silos at the very end, like so. So, you can sell off the silos, but you can't sell off any of the houses, farmhouses or animal pens. They are fixed in place. What else was I going to say? I think that is it. There's no custom crops on here if we go along. No custom crops. There is contracts available as you can see on the fields. Now in new farmer mode like in a lot of the maps we do start off with crops in one of the silos. Oddly enough all of your equipment in all three modes is up here at the cow farm which I'm guessing is where they want you to start. But the crops in your silo are actually in this silo here at the pig farm. So just something to be aware of. What we'll do is we will do this little bit on foot because we've got a sale point and then the shop. And I'm going to lease a pickup and we'll kind of go around the map like this. It will all become a bit clearer as we go. Just checking my notes to check how I've done everything I think I have. Right, let's get going because I've waffled on. Oh, sorry, madam. Waffled on too much. So we'll run out of this area where they start you off. Just down here, we've got first of a sale point. You can just about see the name of it there. And this is, I'm not sure how to say all of these, Zlotovec. This is going to be a sale point for eggs and milk, as you can see. And what I will say is there is a ton of detail on this map. It's got just all random things like the tables and chairs here. There's houses around, there's vehicles dotted around, trucks and that just to make it you know, look like a proper place. You've got a lovely little church like this. I think there's another one further on around the map it's got a ton of detail on it it is quite a nice map I must admit it's just got that sort of dark issue again 
so into the shop area as you can see we've got our workshop area and your trigger icon just there the shop menu icon just there we've got a cash machine just there this is also your reset point you buy lease anything it appears roughly here a little bit of shed space there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lease a pickup now and we'll have a little wander around right here we go I don't know why I chose this nice orange so we'll come out of the shop area try not to run anyone over because they seem to walk in the road and you'll you'll see all the detail and it, it is quite you know a picturesque map as well if we drive up through into here and down this track we will come to the chicken farm so we'll stop there we've got gates in to the farm like so they will open up like that if we whiz round here we've got our farmhouse just here up to the door you've got your sleep trigger there's the first of the silos your pipe out and I did test it because I was thinking well where do you tip in at first I thought it was through that door but you literally just tip in front of the silo and it will go in there so like so you've got a bit of shed space here as you can see it is dark there's no lights in some of these buildings so I'll probably turn on the old flashlight for some of this but we've got a ton of shed space in most of the farms these are drive throughs most of them but it does get a little bit tight out the back here but you're not really going to be using hefty machinery big machinery I wouldn't have thought on this map I did spot some lights in this building just up there you can see some and there is a light switch there but I had so much trouble trying to get it to work I just gave up in the end so yeah <laughs> over to the chicken pen so your eggs will spawn here your feed trough is just there with your trigger just there now the chickens are fenced in but when I placed them in I had some appear in the actual pen some were out here in the yard and some were down this side on this strip which I thought was a bit strange but anyway if we come down the far end this gate does open inwards the dialogue box is just there in front of the gate as you can see that will hold a hundred chickens which is probably one of the best animal pens on here because <laughs> you'll see later what I mean by that we're going to reverse all the way back out because that is the chicken farm done now I don't mean there's anything wrong with any of the animal pens it's just the um, capacities of them which I will like I say show you later so up here on the right we've got our BGA which is something a bit unique a bit different so we'll stop there so just round here again it's dark so I'm going to turn it on this is your cell point or your digester you can see the dial there because if we jump up onto here there you can see and I haven't tested this but I'm guessing because you've got the big tanks over the back this is going to be where you get your digestate from there's no actual pipe but that is just my personal guess we've got two bunker silos silage clamps there so that is your BGA if we back out across the road we've got a sow point and I think it was the lime station park there and run in so again you've got all this detail look you've got trucks everywhere so you've got your lime 
by point just here with some floating hazard markers. If we come round the back, you've got a cell point there, which I think is your first of your main cell points. So let's quickly go through what we've just done. We started roughly here, so we run up, we run across, we did this cell point for your eggs and milk, next door for the shop, got our pick up, we came through and we went along here, checked out the chickens, back out, up to the BGA, we're now in here, which is your lime station and also Scut Zakodny. So Zakodny is one of your main sale points. It takes all your standard crops plus potato, sugar beet, sugar cane, nothing else. Like it said in the mod hub, there's only two of those main sale points. So obviously you can drive through and back out this way. So we'll get back in the pickup. And then we've got to go down the hill again. I do like little features like this, it's quite cool going down the hill. And if we go along this road track, we're going to head up to the cow farm, which, like I say, is probably where they're. Oh, I want to go down there, where they're wanting you to start. Again, little things like this, you've got a tiny little sort of ford there, a bit of water you drive through. Nice tea, uh, touch that is. There's the other church just in front of us. Nicely detailed with the bells there built into the wall. You can actually go in there. I haven't been in there but you can do. So we want to turn down here. There's two entrances and exits to the cow farm. It says open the gates we'll drive in and we'll have a wander around again so just here up to the door we've got our sleep trigger I'm going to turn the we've got a tiny little I don't know what you'd fit in there but sort of garage there's another silo there we've got a lot of storage space again where some of our equipment is, the two tractors, like so. There's your other entrance exit. That's your cow barn, I'll come back to that. Got your trailer there. Round the back, a bit more of our equipment. I do like this one because it backs onto the river. Very nice, picturesque, scenic. Got your harvester just there. Right, let's do the cow barn. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh, but. Right, hang on. There's your milk trigger. All these doors will open so you can access it. So your milk point just there, as you can see with the urns. This is your dialogue box. Just outside these doors, as you can see. This holds a whopping seven cows which I think is probably one of the lowest capacities for cow pens I've seen on this game I could be wrong but seven cows couldn't believe it when it stopped when it, I was putting them in there they appear along this strip here um, your straw and your feed troughs are through here, your triggers, sorry, and your water point is just here. You've got your trough just there, as you can see, like so. We've got sound of water up this end, which I'm not sure why. Your manure is going to be there, and then we've got a slurry pit just the other side. So that is that farm and your massive cow pen if we open these gates we will jump back in the pickup and now so we came from this area went down that hill across 
dirt track past the church which I think is that then we came along we're in the cow barn we're going to go across here all the way up to these cell points and do like the sort of top half of the map if you want to call it that because of the division with the river there yeah I think the chickens whoa sorry I didn't see them there because it was too dark it was <laughs> hidden under this tree the chickens and the horses I think are reasonable capacities the others are a bit disappointing really but I will go through them as well so you've got a lovely little bridge there going across the river and then we've got a little bit more water down here which you drive through which does kind of encroach into that field to our left there pretty sure that wouldn't affect your harvesting though so we want to turn down there but as you can see that road carries on for quite some distance we have still got some fields there but it is going to sort of end eventually just there so just something to be wary of along here to our right we've got a barrier that does lift up automatically we've got our bell cell point for your silage grass hay and straw loose or in bells quite a bit bumpy there just there you can see the trigger it's very bumpy all that rubble there back out pretty much next door we've got a little area again it's very dark just there a bit of graffiti on there this is another egg and milk cell point so just to show you scup bell pumi which is your bell cell point which is just there like so and then next door we were what is that called Pol ponochi ponochni just eggs and milk like so we'll carry on along we'll take this track we've got the spinnery and animal dealer just down there then we'll come down to the pig farm So we want to take this track to our left. I do like, you know, it looks like it goes on forever. Some of the trees take a little while to appear into focus like that as you get near them. So if we come out of here onto the main sort of road what I'll do is I'll stop here and we're running so just in here let's turn the old torch on again just in here we've got our spinnery which is obviously going to be for your cotton and your wool and then just over here you've got your animal dealer with the dialogue box just like that as you can see back out oh thanks for that they are a bit bit brutal with the um, traffic on this map. Right, if we carry on down, it's not this first entrance, but it's this second one here. Again, I'm going to stop here and run in. This is our pig farm. Turn the old torch on again. Just round here, we've got our farmhouse with the sleep trigger by the door. There's your other silo, that's the one with your crops in, in new farmer mode. You've got all this shed space, as you can see, they all open. Even the little door here, if you wanted to go in and oh, go in and use that area. It's not very big. These are all pretty much dry throughs as you can see. And this bit out the back is your pig pen there is a hayloft here if we can get up like so and these all open as well more shed space 
so every farm's got quite a bit of shed storage I think the sheep farm had a little bit more in my personal opinion so your pig pen dialogue box just in front of these gates this will hold a huge four pigs that is all just four pigs they will appear in there having a little party so your feed trough obviously here, yeah, your water trough so and your straw your triggers all in there for those three items just behind us we've got our slurry pit with the trigger there and then over the back you've got the manure pit just there so we'll run back out let's jump in the pickup I'll just show you on the map again so we came all across the top and back down we'll go down we'll check out there's a workshop here and a fuel station and then we're going to take this sort of windy track and come down and back down to sort of the bottom half of the map but there is like I keep saying there is some fantastic detail on this map you'll see in a second when we um go down that windy road I just pointed out so we've got a workshop trigger just there well that's my fault sorry pal oh no now I'm stuck you're joking <laughs> Here we go. Why do map tours never run smoothly? So just in here we've got a fuel station as you can see. Now we're going to go back and take this windy track. It's a bit tight. Apologies for the dodgy camera angles, but I can't do much about the trees. Then we'll shoot all the way down here, and then somewhere along here, we've got another bridge to go over, as you can see. It is, we're just coming up to it, which again, I think is a lovely bit of detail. We've got a fire station there. How smart is that? That is pretty much where we run up to. That's that sale point and the shop, as you can see. But we are going to carry on down now. We're going to take this road here and travel out to Scup U Fabisiaka, which I think was the other main sale point. Yes, it was. Oh, I'm holding up the traffic. As you can see, it's very tight down here for two cars I've no idea if I'm going down a one-way system or not but as you can see it is pretty tight I'm gonna even turn the lights on for this bit oh my god where did he come from am I going down a one-way system I'm not sure so you've got a roundabout here possibly could be going down a one-way system <laughs> I'm not sure anyway to our right we have this cell point there we go this is going to be your other main cell point which again just there it is we'll do your standard crops and potato, sugar beet and sugar cane we'll just get back out onto the road and we'll show you where we're going next so we're now here we're going to carry on down all the way down this way we'll check out the workshop and then we've got the sawmill and just these two farms and that pretty much be it what I'm going to do when we get to the workshop though is I'm going to come out and cut across field free and just show you this area so you can actually see how much you possibly could be able to work if you did buy that area I know it's going to cost you a million but some people would like to buy it I guess so we're not going to bother with the roundabout because I'm a rebel
as you can see they are pretty good sized fields and there's a nice sort of detail just here on our left we've got like a construction site where they're obviously building something which is pretty smart so like I said we're quickly I'm going to stop here I don't think any traffic's going to come there just in here we've got another workshop trigger again very dark just in there might be a little bit tight coming into there because you've got these pallets just there now I'm going to drive forgive me for driving through someone's field but I do want to show you this area So this is actually field free, so this is proper field, but you've got this area now. If we jump out, I'm going to have to turn on the old field info for you quick. Shows there, look, it's owned by someone, it's got oats growing in there. So you are going to be able to work it. Now if you keep watching the mini map, we're going to get down by the darker shade area. And all of a sudden we're going to hit that wall any minute bang there it is so you're going to be able to work all of that which is still quite a huge area but it's just going to cost you a million pounds euros or dollars whatever you want to do i'm going to cut through the forestry area as you can see different types of trees why am i stuck why is that not letting me go that way then? Right, we just want to get back onto this track which we are now on. Down to the sawmill. Which is just here, there's the entrance. A little bit tricky to see. So you've got your timber lumber cell point just there with your icon and then a wood chip cell point just there pretty easy to spot that yeah like I say you can see there's all sorts of different types of trees in here so challenge awaits for someone so back up this way these are the sort of meadows that they talk about in the description to our right and left or well, I'm guessing they are anyway <laughs> and then all we've got left is these two farms here so let's turn our lights off engine off first one on the left again we've got gates is the sheep farm round to our left up the stairs light on again sleep trigger just there loads of well I say actually these do all open but I'm not sure you're going to be able to use much as you can see it's pretty um full up with things you're not really going to go in there anyway but there is quite a lot of storage space here and round the back as you can see it's a bit of a weird texture there round the back we've got another silo just there and this comes all the way round you've got all this shed space as well they're all dry throughs again there's no lights on in here those two doors are slightly taller for you so that is the sheep farm let's go back up here to the actual oh yeah you've got these little ones as well they've got a sort of ramp leading up to them so just over here we've got your dialogue box for your sheep this will only hold 10 sheep as well pretty poor you got your feed trough just through there you can see it just there that's your trigger through there you've got your wall spawn point just there and then round the side 
you've got a water trough just there with your trigger just there the sheep appear out here now I thought they were going to appear in there because just up the far end here there's an open gap in the fence <laughs> so with a track running through so yeah moving on to next door which is the horse farm open the gates again we've got the fifth and final silo there round this side right round here We're up the stairs again sleep trigger just there in front of the door again there's quite a bit of storage but it is dark again I'll turn that off look there's no lights in here at all so yeah one of those things I guess I've got all this storage as you can see separate one there I think with another sort of side door they're all pretty much dry throughs we've got all this as well out the back plenty of storage all the way over there as well loads of it as you can see some of them are dry throughs some aren't let's get back round to the front and I'll show you the horse pen and that should be it so open these doors up first just in front of these doors you've got your dialogue box there this will hold 10 horses which is pretty acceptable I think one did appear here but then the others were all appeared out the back there so your straw triggers just through the middle here you can drive through out the back they would appear out here and then you've got your feed trough and your water trough just there now for the water trough the trigger is out here but this feed trough isn't actually very marked up so I'm guessing it is out there if it's not here it's going to be inside but I would have thought it's out there with the water trough as well I think that is pretty much it I think we've pretty much covered everything just check we did all that didn't we yeah so that is it that is Zori or just Zori by Pavel K20 and Unbeliever Boat hope you have all enjoyed the map tour sorry if I waffled on a bit but there was quite a bit to take in and show you if you have liked it please give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet then please do and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine I've been Farm Sim Snowy stay frosty